Today we're going to look at basic finger picking, which is obviously used a lot on acoustic guitar playing, you know, you hear people playing. And that's finger picking. When you're using fingers of this hand, usually just these three and your thumb, rather than just strumming. So to get started with finger picking, uh, there's a couple of things I'd, I'd recommend doing. One is to disregard this finger and don't really use this finger uh, for most finger picking patterns. So you don't have to think about that one. And then your thumb is allocated to these three strings, the bass strings. So anytime you're playing one of those three, use your thumb. Uh, this isn't a hard and fast rule for everything you ever play, but as a general thing to get you started, this works. And then for the last three strings here, the, the thinner three, use that one on the third string, that on the second, that on the first. So we've got this, thumb, 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 first finger, second finger, third finger. So something you might want to try to begin with is just doing something like this. Trying this, obviously go very slowly at first, but try and keep a regular pace and regular speed. And try to move this hand as little as possible, so it doesn't want to be like this. So be very still if you can go. And another quick tip that I think helps with this, uh, is often I see people learning how to finger pick and their thumb is behind their fingers, like that. Whereas I recommend your thumb being that side of your fingers. So on my guitar, that means that from where you're looking, at the moment you can't see my thumb, you need to be able to see my thumb. I'm exaggerating it, but like that. So, so your thumb's kind of clear of, it, of your fingers, and you can look down and see the backs of your fingers. And just a quick mention to what we're actually physically doing here, the thumb pushes down on the string and the fingers pull up on the string. Okay, so that's the first thing to try, just very slowly going through the strings like this, trying to stick to the right finger for the right string. Okay, and I've written a series of uh, simple finger picking tunes which are designed just to get you used to to doing this. So I'll play the first one now, then I'll explain how it works. Okay, so you can see that what I'm doing there is doing a, quite a simple pattern with this hand based on what we were looking at a minute ago. Uh, and But gradually introducing this hand, doing something quite simple, but the idea is your attention comes away from this hand. Because at first you're thinking about this. But what you really need to end up doing is not think about this and it just goes on its own. So you can look around the room, type an email or something or just speak to someone and this just keeps going and that's what we're trying to achieve so uh, this becomes uh, an automatic thing that keeps going on its own so the idea of these tunes is you gradually start thinking about this hand so what I'm doing to begin with is just using the sixth string the E doing this four times And then the next bar, I'll put 
put my finger on the three here on the first string. Then two. Then open twice. So each one's four beats. One. Similar thing, but I'm doing five, three, two, which is A, G, F sharp. So it was. And then the next bar after that is five, three, seven, seven. A, G, B, B. So I'll just put those three together. Okay, and on the end of that, the next bar is like the first one, where we just did. So I'll put that whole sequence together. Getting ready here. just using one finger here. I'm deliberately doing that to make this as simple as I possibly can. Um, eventually you would probably use more than one finger. For now, just use one finger and that movement is part of this business of your attention coming away from this hand. It's having to move your hand. It's, it's a bit more uh, involved with this hand. And I think it works best like that. Start off thinking about this hand, then gradually forget about that hand and let it carry on its own. It takes a little while though to get the hang of that. Okay, so the next stage of this is exactly the same sequence I just played, but my thumb is going to switch to the A string, the fifth string, and do the same thing. So it's... Oh, the only difference is the first bar doesn't do the open, it's straight into the melody. So it's this. Same notes here. Okay, and on the end of that, rather than staying on the A string, I'm going back to the E string for the open. Okay, so I'll just play the whole tune again, quite slowly. to mention with that is on the end after the four two three four just do three more six seven on the seventh one i'm just in the bass note so if i just play from the end of the sequence with the a So that's the first of my simple finger picking tunes. 
Uh, hopefully that will work well for you. Take your time with it and go slowly. Slow and steady pace is the key to getting the hang of this. Uh, try to avoid playing the bits you find easy fast and then slowing down on the bits that you don't find easy. Um, try to play at the speed of your slowest part. So if there's a section you find really difficult and you're playing slowly, play the whole thing at that slow speed and gradually build up. Okay, uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and uh, there'll be some more. Th um, there's, there's a few more of these, these little tunes which gradually get slightly harder, so uh, I'll, I'll do those and um, hopefully you'll see those soon. Okay, thanks.